There's an idiot. I didn't realize how dumb this woman was. The name's Betty or Betsy, one of the two. McCollum from Minnesota. She's a um, she's a Democrat from Minnesota, and she keeps she, she keeps getting up during the budget crisis thing, bitching about uh, the fact that the the army and the National Guard and a couple other people have race cars in NASCAR. It's a waste of the taxpayers' money, she says. It doesn't do any good. But she's illiterate. And she's and she's she actually she, she's like a Berkeley Hummer, uh. and she can barely read her own script. <laughs> and uh, just play the idiot from Minnesota clip part one. Volunteer military, I disagree, but I respect their passion despite the fact there is no evidence to demonstrate that motorsport program is effective in recruiting, and that's why my amendment maintains a significant and a significant investment in motorsport sponsorships. $20 million to allow the Pentagon to demonstrate to us and to the taxpayers it does work. Now, as members of Congress, we must do a better job of exercising our oversight over the Pentagon's recruiting budget. Right now, 75% of Americans ages 17 to 24 years of old, ages <laughs> years of old, are not qualified. Let me repeat. Yeah, please. 75% of young Americans ages 20. 17 to 25 year, 24 years old are not qualified to serve in the armed forces. <laughs> 75 of the people aged with this old. <clears throat> well, she sounds like she might be plastered. But, I mean, the way she reads it, yeah. yeah. play the idiot from North Carolina, Minnesota. Uh, she actually says... The problem with high grass prices. Oh, yeah. Just well, the, well, this is what Obama does, right? Rail raise. This is a, this is a new thing. <coughs> Excuse me. I think there was a bad batch of meds they hand out to all these people, including the president, and it's slurring their speech. Yeah. Because the president did rail raise, and she is bad grass. American people don't know that we're at war in, in Iraq and Afghanistan. They don't need a racing car to tell them that we have a volunteer military and our country's at war. Already this year, the Republican Congress has voted to cut nutrition programs for the poor, hungry, and for infants. And this, this majority is cutting investments in energy efficiency and high grass prices. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment and to limit the motorship sponsor racing to $20 million. The motorship you, sponsor racing. I got to tell you, these high grass prices are killing me. She, I can't. She, I mean, this, if you listen to this, I'm going to make a, a, a composite of her, all her little things again for great. next show. She's great. Just the, the idiocy of this woman is beyond <laughs> is beyond belief. Let me hear that last bit. The the motorsport racing. What? Do, 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 do it. Let me hear that again. Efficiency and high, high grass prices. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment and to limit the motorship sponsor racing to twenty million dollars. <laughs> listen, you, Chairman. Stop that motorship. Because motorship motor sponsored motor racing, <laughs> motorship sponsored racing leads to high grass prices. Now, let's vote on that. Dvorak.org/slash/na. Squirrel. <laughs>